Hello everyone, this is Dino Chris from Priestar Facts and Colossal Fossils. This is Priestar Facts Extra episode number 52. And uh, today we're going to be doing something fun. And so we're going to be doing the 10 weirdest or scariest prehistoric creatures of all, uh, in my, of all time and to me. And so, and so, shall we get started? So the criteria for this episode is that this is just a list, not a top 10, so no rankings. Uh, some of the prehistoric animals that are going to be featured in this in this episode will get their own special episodes, so just let you know. So I'll not go in too in depth of like the big about the big uh, information that is in there, and uh, of course your list is going to be different from mine. And uh, let me know what prehistoric animals you think are the weirdest or scariest in your list. And uh, another bonus question: What what is your favorite character that you dressed up for Halloween? And so that's a bonus question. Please let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite character that you have ever dressed up for uh, for Halloween. Uh, for me, I would say it's either uh, Batman and uh, I would say both Batman and Darth Vader. And so Darth Vader is my all-time favorite uh, Star Wars character, and of course Batman's my all-time favorite superhero even though he doesn't have any powers. And you can see I'm kind of dressed in a black uh, way here. Uh, let's see here is uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom from uh, Jurassic World. And of course, this right here from one of my favorite bands, The Ocean. And this is from their uh, most recent album, uh, Phantasmic 2. If you're a fan of heavy metal, check that band out. That is an amazing band. So we'll start off the list here is Dimorphodon. And so why do I think Dimorphodon is a weird or scary looking pterosaur? Well, first of all, it's weird in terms of that it's kind of got this like somewhat large skull for its body size. It is a small pterosaur. And it's also got those uh, wicked looking teeth, those wicked needle sharp teeth to catch fish, catch, it, catch insects. I and mean, this pterosaur kind of looks ugly when you actually look at it. And so, yeah, it, it is probably one of my uh, favorite weirder, scariest uh, ter uh, prehistoric animals. Next one is Arctotosimus, or the giant short-faced bear. Why do I think that this animal is weird or scary? Well, first of all, it would be mostly scary than weird, uh, because it is one of the largest bears to ever exist uh, in Earth's history. Uh, this animal would be uh, six feet long, or, or otherwise, yeah, six feet long, six feet tall uh, and on all fours, but when it rose up on its hind legs, it was 12 feet tall. So this animal had a pretty powerful bite, big claws, big paws, uh, and it got some pretty wicked looking canine teeth. I mean, yeah, this animal you do not want to meet in a dark alley. This this thing would probably beat you pretty good, uh, whatever it could. So you probably kept your distance from this animal. And back then, and back then, uh, native people, the first humans that came to North America, stood clear from uh, from uh, the giant short-faced bear. So yeah, they would not dare go near it. Of course, the next uh, weirder, scariest uh, prehistoric animal, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have seen all the movies uh, that Tyrannosaurus Rex has been in. It, was con it is kind of considered to be the scariest dinosaur uh, to a lot of people because it's big, it's got that big skull, big teeth. Uh, can be very can be fast, and has all the traits necessary to be a very good predator. Now, I love Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you all know I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex is my all-time favorite dinosaur, and so it does come into the uh, weird or scariest weird part of it. A weird thing about the T Rex, of course, the short arms, uh, and then you got like the scarier part, like the like the biggest teeth of all dinosaurs, uh, great sense of smell good eyesight, good hearing, may able to uh, run as fast as an as a average human, and that is that is pretty, pretty uh, impressive uh, right there for Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next scariest or weird prehistoric creature is Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus is one of the largest pterosaurs to ever exist. It has, it has like a nearly 40-foot wingspan, uh, would be as tall as a giraffe, 
and this thing would be would look very very scary when you actually are looking right up to it and looking right at it it is a tall pterosaur when it's standing on all fours would look like it's going to peck your peck your head i mean yeah it, this animal would be very scary if it was around today and i would not even dare getting close to that thing and so yeah yeah so Quetzalcoatlus is one of the weird and scariest ones. I mean, a weird thing about it is that it's got a really long neck, and it's got that crest on top of its head, too. The next uh, weird or scariest uh, prehistoric animal is Hyenodon. Now, Hyenodon uh, is one of the scarier uh, type of uh, prehistoric mammals because it's got really sharp teeth and its jaws, it is fast, and has a very powerful bite. And this animal would prob is also nicknamed Razor Jaws, and so this thing could really bite my arm and crush it. And so, yeah, this animal would be very scary. It could bite my leg off if it had to. And so, yeah, this thing would be very scary if you actually saw it. Would be very, very uh, menacing to look at. The next uh, prehistoric creature that I think is scary is Deinonychus. Now, a lot of a lot of you are going. Well, what about Velociraptor? Isn't Velociraptor scary enough? Well, to me, Velociraptor is not quite that scary. Because first and foremost, don't look at Jurassic Park as an example. Uh, the Jurassic Park Velociraptors are not the true Velociraptors. The true Velociraptors are about the size of a turkey. And so they are small raptors. They would probably be scary enough if they were going to be like uh, trying to like uh, slash at your, at your uh, legs. But that'll probably be it. Uh, Utah Raptor, you're probably also thinking, well, what about Utah Raptor? Yeah, Utah Raptor's scary uh, because of its size and it's got those big claws. But to me, Deinonychus is scarier because I think of those. I just think of like the the claws, the teeth, the menacing look on the face of that animal. It's very fast and has the has that really good jumping ability. I mean, it has all the traits to be very, very scary. In my opinion, Deinonychus would be the scariest raptor. The next scariest prehistoric creature is Helicoprian. Uh, so Helicoprian uh, has that uh, spiral-looking uh, tooth design that you see in the fossil record. Uh, one of them, kind of one of the famous like uh, shark-like relatives of uh, of the Permian. Why I think it's scary is because it kind of, if you actually were in the ocean in the Permian, this is probably one animal you do not want to get sliced up by because this animal would have the slicing motion for its uh, bite. But it probably would more likely go after squid and some fish. It would not really have to do anything with like uh, large prey, so to speak. But it would be scary to look at and certain things. But also you're thinking like, well, what about Crotoxyrhina or what about Megalodon? Yeah, Megalodon would be very scary too, but... I probably say is that like uh, megalodon would probably not even think about trying to eat us unless if, unless if it's the only thing that is there in the ocean. But I mean, what can you say? And uh, Cretoxy rhino, big is a great white shark, but it would probably just avoid us. But yeah, I think Helicoprion is probably one of the scarier uh, shark-like relatives. The next uh, prehistoric creature that I think is weird or scary is Spinosaurus. You know, Spinosaurus is the longest uh, theropod uh, in the fossil record, and uh, it has all those weird traits uh, like that you know, crocodile-like snap, crocodile-like skull, uh, the sail on its back, and also it's got this like fin-like uh, tail, and, and it's pretty interesting. It's one of the weirdest dinosaurs. It's also got those short legs uh, and also big arms with these big claws, and so yeah, it is strange looking dinosaur it's one of the weirdest dinosaurs uh in the fossil record but also could be scary if you're actually near the water's edge uh in its territory don't bother to be near the water and that's what i think about uh spinosaurus the next uh prehistoric creature i think is weird or scary is archaeotherium or or was known as the the hell pig um this animal would be probably a very scary uh entelodon to look at it would almost look like a pig, or otherwise it could almost look like a hippo uh, in certain ways. Uh, a hoofed predator, too. It would have hooves uh, for feet. can be fast if it needed to. It's got really scary-looking teeth, very powerful bite. 
and uh, good sense of smell, good he good eyesight. It has pretty much those types of things it has to be a very uh, opportunistic type of predator. And, uh, and I don't think you want to uh, have your back turned on an Archaeotherium because it could bite my could bite your legs. That's why I think Archaeotherium could be scary, even though, like, say, like, Deodon could be scary because it's one of the largest uh, uh, Entelodonts to exist, and it has that much more powerful bite. It could uh, crush uh, bones pretty well. Archaeotherium can do that as well. It's just that it just probably can crush the long bones and uh, the uh, neck vertebrae of its prey. And then the last uh, uh, weird or scary-looking uh, prehistoric animal is Majungasaurus. And uh, Majungasaurus is one of the weirdest looking abelosaurs and one of the weirdest theropods, period, uh, because of uh, the short arms that it has, like of all abelosaurs, bulldog-like head, and, uh, and of course, the, the design of the skull is so weird. It, it's got like this cauliflower texture like on its skull, that horn on top of its head. And those wicked teeth too, and also it's got that uh, interesting tr that interesting thing about it in the fossil record to be known as one of the first dinosaurs uh, to be known as a cannibal uh, because there's bite marks from another Majungasaurus on on a few bones of Majungasaurus, but we don't know how often that happened. Probably on very rare occasions, but it would probably but it did happen at one point. But yeah, in this animal, it would have been very scary in uh, the uh, forests of Madagascar. Yeah, this would have been a very, very uh, uh, weird and kind of ugly looking uh, uh, dinosaur. And that's all for the uh, list. And the uh, next episode would be on October 28th, 2021. And there'll be a special episode and they'll let you guys know what kind of prehistoric animal I'm going to talk about. And so uh, you can do... So I'll let you guys know about that. And uh, you can still send me questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life for Q&A episodes. You can by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com. Let's go on my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts with Dino Chris. Like the page. You actually post your questions in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section. Don't put them on Messenger. Messenger is for private conversations. So just in the comment section. And, uh, and also for you YouTubers out there, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. Also, share the channel, share the videos to anybody that is interested in dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life. And also, stomp on that bell so that way you can get weekly notifications of every single video that comes out. And also, put your questions in the comment section because I do read them all. You know, your questions do mean a lot for the Q and A episodes, and those are and you guys have been pretty giving me some pretty dang good questions, and that is awesome. And remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Instagram at dino.grass.pf. I post pretty cool stuff on there. You can also follow me on Twitter at cs. G R A L L. It's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there as well. Also, take care of people around you. Notice a few younger people out there to make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you could have for good education. It's very important to have good education. With a good education, you get a good job in the future. And also, in this kind of time, if you're not, vac if you're not vaccinated yet, please wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands because that's very important. And also, not vaccinated yet, please get vaccinated because that is very important so that way we can reduce the spread of the virus and also we can get too close to pre pandemic normal. That's what we want, all want. And also, feel free to check out Colossal Fossils. I'll put a link in the description down below, so that way you guys can check it out. We're still fundraising for a T-Rex, so if you want to uh, help donate to donate for the T-Rex, uh, hit the Donate tab uh, in Colossal Fossils and uh, donate as much as you want for the T-Rex fund, and that will help us out to get a T-Rex at some point. And that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.